So, I've built in dorm rooms, kitchen tables, garage, sheds. At any space I had, I would use it. The more and more orders I get, I'm making the most of every space I have. I was in college and I wanted to start an LLC. I wanted to start a business, start making some side money. I tried to think of so many names, cool, clever names to do, and my parents actually recommended, listen, just do the last name, Leffler Custom Rods, and uh, that's what, where I'm at right now. I, I would say I don't know if it's a huge impact in the big scheme of things around the town, but the people who do know about me, the real serious guys, it's a big deal. I'm 18 years into the business and it's finally now just taking off. I don't want to sound cheesy, but it's a dream come true. So I put in a lot of time for this and now to see it kind of spreading, it's a really good feeling. When I was 15, I started doing the guide repairs and rod building. And when I built my first rod, everyone was like, this is actually really good. Can you build me one? Family members would start buying rods from me, just, you know, gifts here and there. Word of mouth spread and here I am now. The quality of the service here, that's always been my number one. I can't compete with pricing of Walmart, I can't compete with these big box stores. So quality is what kind of makes me stand out. Say a, a new guy's building a beautiful sport fish boat, he hears about Leffler Custom Rods, comes in, we do a, a little consultation, I show him what I have to offer, and he can see the qualities there, and then we go ahead and do the order. Before, I would just strictly build a certain set of rods. I'd have an inshore rod, an offshore rod. Now I have, you know, hats, shirts. I sell reels, I fill line. I'm definitely evolving in, in what I'm offering just because the demand is there. Mud holes help me out a ton just because it starts with getting the best parts. The size alone and the quantity of stock and inventory they, they have everything you need. I mean, from start to finish, any type of rod. They're offering this wholesale program. If a guy out of his garage wants to step it up a notch, they offer a great program for that. And it's helped me, and I don't really see myself getting to this point without something like this program in place. What's next? If you want to move your hobby of rod building into a real business, you got to just make sure you really want it. Simple as that, like, it's not going to be easy. Be ready for the long days, long nights. You got to get good products, you got to do quality service, and you got to put the time and effort in to do it. I mean, there's no shortcuts around it. I really like to see anybody that takes the risk and takes their passion to the next level it's just people that can grow and have a passion for what they do, and they turn anything into a big business. And those are really my influences. 
There's been a lot of cool catches on the Leffler Custom Rods. A lot of tournament winnings, a lot of guys in Costa Rica winning Marlin tournaments. One of the most memorable ones was in 2019. I sent some rods out to the Cook Islands out there by Australia. And he pulled in a 1,042 pound blue marlin. It was the first 1,000 pound marlin of the year in the whole world. So, and he sent me a text with the pictures of the rod bent over, the fish, and then he just talked about how much he loved the rods, how perfect they were. Getting a text later or a call later or an email that just says how much they love the rods to outdo their expectations, that's my favorite part of it. When a guy buys one of my rods and each of them have my logo on it, they know it's special, they know it's the best, they know it's no shortcuts, they know it's a Leffler rod. For now, what's next for me is just to continue what I'm doing. I'm slowly growing right now, organically, and I'm gonna to continue to do so. I think I'm on the path right now, so I'm just gonna continue what I'm doing and grow with the times. My name is J.L. Leffler, and I'm a custom rod builder.